another JMU already. Hello, welcome to the Ganon Cord versus Terry Bogard Cord crew battle. As you can probably tell from the numbers at the top of the screen, this is going to be a short one. Uh, we just came off of the Ganons versus Meat Gunners crew battle, or that JMU was last week, I believe. So this is pretty. This is pretty uh, quick. After that one, we did another one. The uh, immediate next week, participation has been kind of low. So. We had originally set up for a 4v4, 4 Ganons versus 4 Terries, but uh, we had some uh, some no-shows, so we are down to a 3v3. And uh, I'm, I'm not participating in this one. I had no time during the week to uh, fight any Terries anyway. For the best. How are you all doing? How's everyone today? Hello, Darian. Yeah, I don't know if you want to hop in on this. We have, uh... Ganon's, Cord Ganon Cord's got players. We got uh, Raycom as, like, the known Ganon. But we also have, uh... Also have Elf King, Polrog. There's way better Ganons than me. So. You know what the really sad part is? Two of our two of the Terries are from Ganon Cord. Oh, only one of the people from uh only one of the Terries are one of the people from Terry Court, and the other two were, uh, were Ganon Court members who happened to play Terry that we recruited for the Terry side. I think this is a good sign to uh, slow down the JMUs. Maybe stop them till Smash 6. I don't know. It'd be lovely if we had some confirmation, or uh, even confirmation of the Switch 2. That'd be great. Boy, we're due for that. Current meme going around is, uh, am I okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Do I not, do I not sound okay? current meme going around is uh, Smash Brothers in 3D. People using, like, uh, codes to unlock 3D movement in Smash Brothers. Anyway. First match. Three, two, Elf King, one, the Ganon, versus go, Ocho, go, the Terry. And I guess they, cho I guess they chose FD. Again, I, I did not get the chance to study Terry this week, so I am uh, I'm relatively blind. I'm not going to be able to make a whole lot of commentary on what Terry is doing. Turn the chat off so we got clean footage. First time seeing Elf King play. Elf King is one of our better Ganons. It's a shame he doesn't go to more events. If he was able to, then I bet he would have been in that uh, top 10,000 that uh, was going around recently. Anyway, Elf King, unsurprisingly, has taken the first stock. Whizkick busting straight through Terry's projectile. Another stock off of Ocho. I'm gonna be honest, as good a Ganon as Elf King is, this could be a sweep. He might take the whole Terry team. Hmm. Late dash attack into shield into grab. 
Didn't get much of a combo off of it, but... Ocho just trying to get in. And air dodges down into a forward smash. That is three stocks. Immediately wiped off the Terries. Well, <laughs> I guess that's kind of expected when you have a... Uh... I don't know how much Terry Ocho plays, actually. They're a... They're a Bayonetta main. Who've been hanging around in Ganon Cord. Get chat back up. I've heard a variety of opinions over the course of this week. Mostly that I mean Gan Ganon doesn't have any winning matchups, right? Usually ranges from, like, uh, slightly losing for Ganon to, uh, some people think even. I can't fully hate any matchup where the opponent has to approach. Boy, I love when that's the case as Ganon. If someone has to get close to me, oh, that makes the game so much more fun. This is a freebie. After the last crew, last crew battle, we faced me, Gunner. Ocho did their best, and that's all anyone asks for. It's all that could be expected under these circumstances. Sounds like up next is our uh, our other Ganon Cord member who plays Terry, whose name is ironically Mario Luigi Roy Ganon. I hope the fact that Terry is not in this person's name isn't telling. Someone made the point that if we do get a Switch 2, it's going to be licensing hell for them to re to re-release this game as a deluxe edition. Oh yeah, no, they're, they're definitely not going to re-release this game. They've never re-released a Smash game. Especially because I can't imagine they would do another... I don't think they would do a Switch 2 and not make it backwards compatible. It would be so easy to do for the uh, SD cards that the Switch uses, and also, it's a, it was such a successful system that you would, uh, it's just a no-brainer that they would, they would want to capitalize on the Switch library. Depending on how they did it, depending on how it works, they could even, like, uh, make Switch games just run better on the Switch 2. All it needs is a little more power. Could even, uh... We've never gotten a console that's backwards compatible and upscales old games. That would be cool. I'd like that. Next match. Elf King, the Ganon, with full three stocks versus Mario Luigi... Sorry, Mario Luigi Roy Ganon, the Terry. Mario Luigi got a couple hits in. Unfortunately, Ganon's hits are worth a lot more. And Elf King has been getting some matchup practice in over the course of the week. Ooh. 
Whisk kick to the ground. That's rare from Elf King. Didn't quite kill, came close. Terry with an F smash and a spot dodge eats an up smash. That's one more stock from Elf King. Trying to play careful, I say. Ooh. Elf King with a fair sense Terry off stage. Can't quite secure the kill. Dap tilt. Also not a kill move. Ooh, there's finally a stock off of Elf King. And a fair takes another Terry stock. Ganon's detail gets a clank. That was a that was a risky risky recovery. Mario Luigi lets him get back on stage, however. That's enough. That's enough for Ganon. Mario Luigi manages another stock off of Elf King. I was kind of hoping for the Elf King sweep, but we might not get it after all. Ooh! F smash! Was that a two frame? I think it takes a little while to snap to ledge, so that might not have been a two frame, but uh, F smash from Elf King's Ganon takes the final stock. That is two stocks off of the Ganon. Sorry, two stocks off of the Ganons, and another three off the Terries. If it's Nintendo, if you think they won't do it, they will. I think Nintendo is going to release another console. There we go. I just secured it. Now the Switch will be the very last Nintendo console ever. They're never going to make another one. I think Metroid Prime 4 is never coming out. You're welcome. Elf King banning Battlefield, Smashville, Small Battlefield. Not sure what ta what uh, what stages Terry likes. Happy with that performance. I think that's the best my Terry has done against Elf King. You've uh, you've been playing him throughout the week, I assume. Sorry, I haven't been keeping up with the uh, the matchmaking channel. Waiting for our. Uh, Waiting for our final Terry. Our only Terry Cord Terry. Is he here? He was here a few minutes ago. I see him typing. Now, uh, when the, the 3D movement memes are going around, I was joking, that's going to be the selling point of Smash 6. They're going to make it fully 3D. It's going to be terrible. Boy, I wonder what they would do. I, I don't believe there's any chance that this is going to be the final Smash game. 
this series is way too profitable for them to not continue it with or without Sakurai. Because they've threatened to... They'd, threatened. The, I think it was in Brawl, even. Like, every Smash game since Melee was supposedly Sakurai's last. And he said, I don't want to make another one. And uh, Nintendo has consistently told him, we're going to make another one with or without you. And he did, to which he's been like, God damn it, this is my baby. I got, I, if it's going to happen, I got to direct it. Eventually, he's going to stop. This, this series will almost certainly outlive him. Wishing all the best to Sakurai, but uh, just stating it how it is. That said, I wonder what the, sma the first Smash game to not be directed by Sakurai will, uh, will be like. It might suck. It might be atrocious. And it's not like we haven't had Smash games that have sucked with Sakurai. Brawl exists. But, uh... I think the only way they could follow this up is to open it up to, like, uh... To embrace a modding community, like uh, Rivals of Aether does. But this is Nintendo, that's not happening. I think we're just gonna get a Smash game with, like, less content. And one that just kind of sucks after this. I think that's all we're gonna get. Elf King, the Ganon, with one stock remaining versus uh, Rocky. Vince Smoke Rocky. Three, two, one, one Piece fan extraordinaire. The Terry. Final member of the Terry team. Alright, begin. Uh... Rocky, the only Terry Cord Terry, gonna do his best against Elf, Elf King. I have no idea if Rocky's a he or not. Terry's a he. That's why I said that. Oh, Nair on ledge. That's one stock off of off of Rocky. smash that's enough there he goes Terry's up special always gets a uh, deceptively more recovery than I expected to it was not enough in that case up special and neutral maybe that was an attempted out of shield from, uh, from Terry. Rocky going for a spike. Doesn't quite land it. Back on stage, but a fade back. A, a, a retreating fair from Elf King. Secures it. World's shortest crew battle. Y'all did your best. Elf King is just... He's the king. He's too much. It's not your fault. No one can take him. Well, that ends the crew battle. At uh, how long did we even go? That was less than 20 minutes with a score of 0 to 7. Ganon favored. I guess we're doing Ganon dittos now. I'll do, I'll do like a couple rounds. I, I suppose I'll keep the arena open, but uh, that's the end of the crew battle anyway. Thank y'all for watching. What was that power gap? Uh, 
basically no one from Terry Court like participated or showed up is what happened. If we had actual like Terry players, that might have gone differently, but uh, we didn't. We had one Terry player and two people from Ganon Court filling filling in. Hello, Pudgy. Mm. Elf King attempting the Rock Croc gets it the second time with an up air. Y'all like Ganon Dittos? Who needs Terry? Let's have Ganon. All Ganon, all the time. Mario, Luigi, Roy, Ganon, Terry. Yeah. We'll just affix Terry to the end of his name. We'll pretend it was there the whole time. Unfortunately, at this point in Ultimate's life, there are uh, not a lot of character cores that are still active. counter. <laughs> Polrog says in chat, I'm here now, redo the crew battle. My experience the Ganon and Kazuya cords are the most active. Uh, me Brawler cord is pretty active. So, so much so that I have to mute it a lot of the time. It, it gets a little too crazy in there for me. The other Mii Chords, uh, Gunner Chord and Sword Chord, have a lot of lurkers. There's not usually a discussion going in there, but as soon as a discussion starts, people will show up. We had a, we had a good turnout for the Gunner crew battle last week. Bowser Chord's pretty quiet. Not a ton that happens in Bowser Chord. into the up smash. Kirby Cord is super active. I've heard uh, Sonic Cord is very active. You know what? I'll do a match. Put me in, coach. Okay. No, they're not going to let me join. Okay. Well, I was going to do a match, but now we'd have to sit here and wait for several minutes. Now I don't want to do that. And I got things to do today. So, we got our one exhibition. Elf King versus Raycom. Thank you for joining the 20-minute stream. World's fastest crew battle. It's like, a, it's like an anime fight. I guess it's not like an anime fight. If it were, then this 20 minutes would have lasted uh, 50 episodes. Anyway. Thank you guys for joining. I am going to... Uh, I'm gonna shut I'm gonna shut this down. Again. 7-0. Ganon favor. Bit of a sweep. But uh should be back sometime tomorrow for a stream with Jack. Might do like a Pokemon. We're trying to get through that uh Gen 5 black and white. Mine's randomized, his isn't. He's playing for the first time. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>